Welcome. Casting live from the Jersey Shore, it's Coach Kev on the Damage 365 Radio Network. How's it going, everybody, and welcome to another episode here at the Indie Super Show, brought to you by the Damage 365 Radio Network, the Spreaker Radio Network, YouTube, and the iHeart Radio app. I'm Coach Kev, leading you to way today. We have a very interesting uh, program today. We welcome back Chad Minnis of Standalone Wrestling. Uh, we had some controversial things that were said on another podcast by ECWA's owner Mike Tartaglia regarding Chad and his past show in Atlantic City, New Jersey, Boardwalk Beatdown. And um, it's very interesting how he uh, claims that he heard this, heard that, this was told to him, but yet he's never reached out to Chad himself to get the correct answers. Instead, just decided to release innuendo and rumor and hearsay on a radio show that about 30 people listen to and most of that is because I've mentioned it for the past five days and people have wanted to tune in to see why we're doing this show today in response to him so uh, you're welcome for pretty much 40% of your listening population but we will have chat on in a little while uh, after our first commercial break and uh, we'll talk a little bit about that and uh, why he decided he was going to take pot shots at Chad. Uh, Chad will respond to that. We had some questions. We also like to uh, point out some shortcomings of uh, Mr. Tartaglia and his company that he's been running uh, for a very long time and a company that's been in circulation for 51 years, as he so nicely reminds everybody continuously over and over again. Um, which we all know my opinion on people who constantly boast about how long they've been doing something. So we'll get into a little of that. And a lot of topics on, you know, a guy that's got so much uh, negativity surrounding his company that he pretty much uh, shouldn't be talking about anybody else's company and shouldn't be criticizing anybody because uh, he's got enough problems in his own locker room. So let's take a quick commercial break. And when we come back, We'll uh, bring in Chad Minnis, and then we'll play uh, part one of the clip from ECWA's Boss Chair podcast, and uh, we'll respond back to that. So sit back, relax, uh, give about an hour of your time, and um, uh, we'll be sure to entertain you. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Hey, it's Tony Schiavone, formerly of WCW, and I'm almost desperately out of time, but I want to remind you, you're listening to the Indy Super Show on the Damage 365 Radio Network. It's wrestling superstore selling wrestling memorabilia from all around the world including wwe impact wrestling japan mexico and the very best of the independence they've got action figures dvds autograph memorabilia t-shirts magazines trading cards stickers vintage video games and more plus stop in and get tickets for great promotions such as uwa elite c z w and many others Located indoors at the world-famous English Town Flea Market, Blue Building Booths, 46 through 48, 
on 90 Wilson Avenue in Manalapan Township, New Jersey. Open every Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Log on to Facebook.com backslash Funkenstein INC for more information. What it do, baby boo? This is Casey Two Scoops Spinelli, and you're listening to the Indie Super Show on the Damage 365 Radio Network. Ba bam! Look at this photograph. Every time I do, it makes me laugh. How did our eyes get so red? And what the hell is on Joey's head? Hey, wrestling promoters and booking agents. You know where you can get inexpensive prints of your higher talent? Right here at Fast Copy Printing Center located in the Pearl of the Bay Shore. That's right. Whether you need 8x10s, 11x17s, posters, long format, or even weatherproof signs, we can do it all. We also can create promotional items for your business, such as pens, business cards, drink koozies, banners, or just a coffee mug. Stop on down to Fast Copy Print Center, 81 Broad Street in Keyport, New Jersey, or just call at 732-739-4646. No job is too big and satisfaction is guaranteed. Tell them, Damage 365 sent you. This is Saraya Knight, and you are listening to Damage 365 Radio. You want to play with me, boy? This is the King of Chaos, Logan Black, and you can catch me every Thursday night along with the boss man, Warriors of Wrestling Zone, Joey B, as we do our live Facebook Q&As on Facebook Live. Feel free to hop on in with any questions, comments, just about anything that pops into your head, and we're going to talk about it. We've got our own segments, we've got our own things to talk about every week, including what's pissing Joey off today. That's right, check us out on Facebook Live or right after the show. Damage 365 Radio Network. Check us out on there. It's posted. You can listen to it at any point that you want. I suggest listening to it sooner than later. Trust me, you've got nothing better to do. That's Thursday nights, 10 o'clock, Facebook Live, or right afterwards on the Damage 365 Radio Network. Come out and play. This is Nyla Rose and Native Beast, and you're listening to Damage 365 Radio. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Okay, we're back, and um, we're going to play the clip from the Boss ch- Boss's Chair podcast uh, run by ECWA, and apparently it's supposed to feature Mike Tartaglia who is in charge of ECWA, and I guess he hasn't been on it in a while. So um, we're going to play that clip. So you are filled in in advance before we bring Chad on to uh, talk about the situation. Uh, we'll have some rebuttal. Now, uh, just to give you a quick summary, he uh, um, starts off by basically excusing why nobody has been showing up to uh, his past show. Uh, doesn't make any mentions of why he canceled shows, things along that nature, but automatically jumps right to Chad. Uh, I guess Chad made some comments of why he's not running in the summer. Like, why wouldn't you run in the summer? I mean, that every, kids are off from school, everybody's home. Uh, and if you run, especially down south with the shore traffic and everything else, why wouldn't you run? That's just stupidity. Um, but he gets into that, and then he starts to get into... Uh, why you can't run multiple shows, which 
I totally disagree with, and I'll, I'll pick that apart, absolutely apart. And and the analogy he used is just ridiculous, but you'll you'll hear that. Uh, then he starts to get into kind of bashing Matt Tremont, who uh, owns H Two O Wrestling, uh, and owns a building and runs multiple uh, companies and events out of that. And he kind of goes on to shit on him of why he rents out his building to, you know, a group of people who want to put on a wrestling show, a private wrestling show, not open to public, no tickets sold, just a group of friends that want to be stupid and go in the ring, do their thing with some music and food and have a good time on a day. Who is this guy to say that nobody should do stuff like that? I mean, it's just... It's just utter stupidity for six minutes. So uh, here, here it is. Some of the fans didn't come because it was too far, okay? So they should be there in attendance mm-hmm. live for the 51st anniversary. What other promotion can say that they've been around for 51 years? Not many. None. And None. you know what? We take off a couple, a couple months, and you get this new guy, Chad Minnis, or however you say his name. Him and Rob Fury busting on me because I didn't run shows during the summer because I was running a legitimate business, okay? And then I come to find out after they had their big show, he already had a falling out with his partner, the preacher, okay? And they split up. And I just heard news <laughs> yesterday from somebody that was at the show was telling me how people didn't get paid and they got into a big fight at the end. He wasn't paying people. And the thing is, is then he cancels his October show because he wants to concentrate on another new promotion that he's opening. So he opens up a promotion, runs three shows, and then wants to open up another new promotion. Now, does that even How sound like logical? Need? Why would no, why, right? why would you open up another promotion if you already have one and you're trying to, you're you're bragging that this other promotion is like the biggest thing and they're going to be doing this and that they run three shows and then all of a sudden they cancel it to start another new promotion and they're probably yeah. using some of the same guys so it doesn't even make sense why change the name why not have that why not have it under the other the, the other name is what I'm saying. But this guy has a falling out with everybody that he's been involved with. That's true. Yeah. It's like his fourth business partner. But I think the theme of their show is it's a mature show. So they, they kind of got a gimmick name to go with that. You know, mature Why theme. bother? You but, already uh, got one promotion. Just run that one. Listen, yeah. you know, well, when, when I first started, I was running the TWA. Joe Zanoli talked me into buying the ECWA. And guess what? It was too hard to run two different promotions, two different web pages, four different uh, you know, fan groups and fan pages. It was just too hard to uh, – totally different rosters. So we combined it and just kept it. We just kept it to the ECWA and just ran one. Why run two different promotions? I mean, are they really big time? I mean, look, no. WWE couldn't do it when they bought WCW. They didn't keep it separate. They just made it one. Uh, my my only comment about it that I can't wrap my head around is, you know, charging guys to try out the wrestle. I mean, I understand. Uh, especially in front of an of, inexperienced trainer. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, I, I mean, the, the, the pay to get booked on the show. I mean, you know, there's this thing called YouTube, you know, guys said matches and stuff. <laughs> I just hate saying that because, look, I mean, you know, we've all been around a long time. I understand it's not easy to make money in the wrestling business, even like a convention and show we had. Listen, you could have the biggest show, you could have the biggest, uh, you know, budget and the biggest names and still not make money. Just because you have a big show and a big crowd doesn't mean it made money, you know, and that's Look what happened to T- the original TWA. You know, they had the best shows, tons of talent, thousand people, and still lost money. You know? So, but I, I just, 